Who? I didn't mean to scare you. Well, actually, yeah, I kind of did. But if you thought that was scary, just you wait, because Resident Evil 7 is coming to Nintendo Switch. Well, I mean, kind of. Way back when the Switch was first in development, Nintendo was initially planning on putting 2 gigs of RAM in this bad boy, but it was Capcom that came along and said, um, maybe put 4 in there because if you want games like Resident Evil 7 on your system, there's no way we can do it with 2. So way back since then, the possibility of Res 7 coming to the Switch was always very likely. But we haven't heard anything about it since then, and for a lot of us that have played Resident Evil 7, it got us to wondering, how are they even going to fit this game on the system. They're really going to have to downgrade it to get it onto the Switch to have that amazing, beautiful looking game portable. Well, as it turns out, Capcom may have given up on the idea of putting it on the system conventionally and decided to go with a different idea, a cloud-based idea, actually streaming the game onto the system. Now, what we know so far is that Resident Evil 7 is coming to the Switch. It's a cloud version of the game which you stream to the system. You can play it for free for 15 minutes and then if you want to continue playing, you have to pay 2,000 yen and then you get access to the game for a while, not permanently because it is streamed which means somewhere out there it's running on computers and you're streaming it on your system. So at some point, especially if it's not too successful, these servers might shut off. So they can't guarantee you'll have this game forever. However, 2,000 yen does come out to just under $20, I believe, or around $20, and it comes with all the DLC. So you will be able to play Resident Evil 7, the full game, with DLC, on the Switch, and it shouldn't look much different. This isn't a game that's being ported to the Switch, that they've worked on the game and they've maybe cut out textures and shadows to make it fit. Theoretically speaking, it is the game that you played on other systems, like Xbox and PlayStation 4, exactly how it is on those systems, theoretically, on the Switch, because it's streaming to it. The actual download is something like 50 megabytes. The downside of all of that, though, means you are required to have Wi-Fi at all times as you play the game. You can't stream something without an internet connection, which removes the portable side of the Switch. You have to be tethered to a strong Wi-Fi, so most likely that means you will have to play it at home. Another game that's doing this is the Fantasy Star Online game. You have so many different things happening in this huge expansive game with all the different characters and players in the world at the same time. The Switch would probably crap out and explode into raging flames of fire if it actually tried to run that off the system. So instead you stream that game to your Switch and it's a lot easier on it. But a game like Fantasy Star where you are required to be online to play it, that's not really a problem. In fact, it makes perfect sense, but a single player adventure horror game typically wouldn't have you tied to a Wi-Fi connection. Well, it would if you're streaming it. And now, right now, it's 2 a.m. I've been up all night editing a video, and I'm seeing a lot of articles about this starting to come out, as well as videos from my friends like Spawnwave and RGT85, and initial reactions seem to be a lot of confusion, skepticism, and just sort of mixed reactions, but definitely teetering more towards negative, mostly from the people that are commenting on the articles or commenting on the video saying, what the heck, this is ridiculous, Capcom being Crapcom yet again. And I'm not usually the kind of guy that jumps immediately on game news and makes a video as soon as the news drops, but I kind of want to nip this one in the bud pretty quick because I think this is awesome and actually opens up a lot of doors moving forward. Okay, yes, in a perfect world, we get a physical release of this game that you could go down to GameStop and you could buy it with all the DLC in it and you could keep it forever in your collection. I'm a physical collector. I'm completely down to party with that. I understand that that would be preferable, but let's think about the bigger picture here. Let's assume the best from Capcom and let's say that since they did recommend Nintendo way back when the Switch was being developed, make the Switch hardware more capable of running a game like Resident Evil 7, they've probably been trying to get the game on the system since way back then. Let's just assume the best of that. And eventually they must have ended up deciding it's just not gonna happen. We don't wanna jeopardize our game. We don't wanna minimalize it or take too much out of it or mess with it too much and mess with the integrity of the game that we built and we love just to fit it on a system and have it portable. But we did say that we were gonna put it on the system and there is this one way that we can do it and you'd be able to play the actual game. At the point where there's probably no way to get it portable, is that such a bad thing? And moving forward, what if we could get games like Red Dead Redemption 2 this way? Or really any big AAA title or just any game in general? What if this was a way for us to play any game on our Switch and stream it directly to our Switch. I know it removes that portable aspect of it, but when you're talking about a game that's on Xbox and PlayStation 4, 
you can't take those portable. It's just having the game on another system. It's just giving you another option. You can plug it into the dock and use the home console side of the Switch like you can with any other system. Yeah, you can't leave the house with the game and play it in the car, but you can still pick it out of its dock and walk around your house. You can use it on the toilet. You can lie down in bed with it. You can play it on the couch while someone else watches the TV. There is still some accessibility there, but it's a way to actually get these games on the system, bulk up the library. Is is it really such a bad thing if you have a game like Red Dead Redemption running almost the same on the Switch, you just happen to be streaming it. I mean, when it comes to this system, which a lot of people would say, you need to have the Switch for the exclusives, and then you have to have PlayStation 4 or Xbox One for all the good third-party games or their exclusives or the big budget titles. You have to have both because you need those Nintendo exclusives and you need those other games. Well, what if you could just bring it together? You can have your exclusives, you can have a ton of third-party games which you can take portable, but then you can also have games like Resident Evil 7, games like Red Dead Redemption 2. You can still play those games on the system. You're just bound to your house like you would be with the other consoles. I think this is actually pretty exciting and moving forward could be a way to expand the Switch's library well past what it's currently capable of in a physical form. And let's face it, in the case of Res 7, if this was to get a physical release, you know if you went to GameStop, you're paying at best $50, most likely $60 with all the DLC. If you're real lucky, $40, but I, I certainly doubt it. But right now, for 20 bucks, you can get the full game with all the DLC, and theoretically, it will look and run a lot better than if it was physical. I mean, as it stands right now, it's nothing to get too crazy excited about. This Resident Evil 7 game isn't coming out anywhere other than Japan as of yet, and the only other game that's utilizing the streaming feature is Fantasy Star Online, which is also only in Japan. And there's no word or any reason to think that moving forward, Nintendo might utilize this more with other games. I'm just saying, let's not go crazy on the hate on Capcom for this one thing. Maybe Maybe let's just take a step back and actually think about it. If the game was gonna suck on a physical port, maybe it is better they did it this way. And what are the possibilities moving forward if this is a success in any form? What doors does this open? You have a streaming service on PlayStation called PlayStation Now, where you get to stream a whole bunch of library of games. Imagine if we had Nintendo Now, if we had a whole bunch of games that otherwise could never come to the Switch, but as long as you're at home, you could play it portable or you could play it on your console, but it's a way of growing that Nintendo library and it's definitely something that I'd be very interested in looking into if it became an actual thing. I think this is pretty exciting. I wanted to nip it in the bud before there was too much hate spread out there about it and Nintendo thinks to themselves, oh, maybe we shouldn't go down this avenue because everyone hated Capcom when they tried it with their game. Hey, maybe let's just consider it and think about the possibilities here. But what do you guys think? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this Capcom Resident Evil situation? Does it suck? Is it eh? Is it just another thing? You're gonna buy it like you would if it was physical and nothing changes? for you? Or are you actually excited by this and think the possibilities of a cloud-based streaming service on the Switch is actually a lot more enticing than this one story alone? Let me know all that down below. Remember to like this video, subscribe. I'm so tired that I'm actually a little bit delirious. I just brewed a pot of cold brew coffee so that I can stay up for a few more hours and render and edit and all of that. And actually now I think about it, I'm probably gonna have to stay up even longer than that because there's something that Kim and I have to do in the morning, so this idea right now has cost me a whole night's sleep. So I hope you like the video and uh, share it around. And I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I feel like I, I should just go to bed, but I can't. But I want to, but I can't. But I should, but I want to, but I can't. Gotcha again. Fool me once, shame on me. How would that work in this context?